This is a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one, especially for those of us Star Wars fans that enjoyed the original Battlefront games. Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection is coming to Nintendo Switch, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series, and PC via Steam on March 14th. Both games bundled together, so we're going to go via the uh, PlayStation Store to check out all the information. So according to uh, PlayStation, Star Wars Battlefront Classic Edition will be $35, but you save 10% with PlayStation Plus. So I guess everyone else, it'll be $35 US, but basically $31.50 US if you happen to have PS Plus if you're playing Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection on your PS4 or PS5. PlayStation Plus will be required on the PlayStation, just like Xbox Live on Xbox. You get the idea. For online play, it supports up to 64 online players. There is uh, two players. You could play split screen, just like you could back in the old days if you're playing at home with a friend of yours. And all the information here is if you pre-order Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection, you get 10% off. I guess that's where the 10% discount comes from. You can fight iconic battles from across the Star Wars galaxy, play this classic Star Wars Battlefront games on modern consoles, online and offline, in this complete classic collection. I like the fact that you have the option to play this online or offline to your heart's contents against uh, players or against uh, AI. The classic collection includes Star Wars Battlefront Classic. It includes one new map, Jabba's Palace. Star Wars Battlefront 2 will include a bit more. Several bonus maps, Bespin Cloud City, Renvar Harbor, Renvar Citadel, and Yavin 4 Arena. And there's two new heroes being added to the Battlefront Classic Collection, Asajj Ventress and Kit Fisto. You'll be able to traverse the galaxy in campaign mode and Galactic Conquest. I loved both the 501st campaign as well as Galactic Conquest. Very excited to have both those coming back. Devise your strategy, recruit your troops, execute your tactical vision for conquering the galaxy. That is a lot of fun. Battlefront campaign experience iconic battles from Star Wars Episodes 1 through 6. Star Wars Battlefront 2 campaign, join the rise of Darth Vader's elite 501st Legion of Stormtroopers. I might just do a Let's Play of that. I'm already planning a Let's Play of uh, the Dark Forces Remastered coming out in about a week from now. I'm very excited for Star Wars Dark Forces. So this is even more Star Wars content coming that I'm going to thoroughly enjoy. I love the Jedi Dark Forces saga, and I also love the classic Battlefront games, especially Battlefront 2. Massive locations, up to 64 player online support, fight on the ground, Wookiee Warriors, Jet Troopers, Droidicas, and more in massive multiplayer action. You can drive iconic vehicles, speeder bikes, ATSTs, ATRTs, and more in offensive and defensive battles. Pilot legendary ships. I love the ship to ship battles where you can like land on ships and fight other uh, starfighters, TIE fighters, X Wings, and more in space and air dogfights. Expanded Hero Assault. Hero Assault is playable on all ground maps, including Death Star, Kashyyyk, Kamino, Naboo for the first time ever. Fighting with heroes, Mace Windu, Yoda, Luke Skywalker, many more. Battle with the villains, Darth Maul, General Grievous, Darth Vader, and many other villains as well. So there you go, Star Wars Classic Collection is coming across all platforms, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, along with Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, Xbox Series, and PC on Steam, March 14th. Looks like the price tag is $35 US, a 10% discount as far as I can tell on PlayStation if you have PS Plus, so that's pretty good, but I mean 35 bucks, not too shabby. For these two amazing games, especially Classic Battlefront 2 with uh, Campaign Conquest along with the 501st Campaign. So yeah, this is another classic Star Wars game or games to be very, very excited about this year. First and foremost, next week is Star Wars Dark Forces Remastered with the adventures of Kyle Katarn and Jan Ors as well as a few weeks later when Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection comes out across most platforms for $35 US. Your thoughts, views, and opinions regarding Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection, welcome, as always, below in the comments section.